Welcome back to This Week at St. Jude from WBLZ The Blaze at St. Jude Catholic Church. I'm Darrell Wilson, your host. We will have some special guests for the next few weeks at the convent. Help us welcome them to our parish family. Hi, I'm Sister Carol Augustine. I'm excited to be here. We already discovered our ping pong table and I love ping pong, so I've already creamed all the sisters. And I'm excited to be in the schools and at the parish. And I'm Sister Peter Maria, and I've been really excited that we can use the school gym, and so I got to play basketball yesterday, and that was really awesome. She did cream us at ping pong, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Father Hennehan was the celebrant for the 930 Mass. Of course, you see the call then of every Christian. I have been drawn into communion not just for myself. I have been impacted by him who brings me, who takes away my shame, who takes away my sin, so that then I go out. And, and sometimes that is in big ways, right? We, we serve the poor, we take care of the sick, we, we reach out to others. But of course, in many ways, even when you think of Mother Teresa, it's often the small ways, right? When we draw people back, a smile, a note, a phone call, stopping and taking time to listen to the person that we pass by, right? Just like the man in the story who many people didn't care about or many people didn't think about. And what did these simple gestures proclaim? You matter. You are important. You're worth my attention. You aren't alone. See, it's God who draws us into communion at this Mass, that as we receive this Eucharist, we realize God is with us. We, see, we realize that he is the one who sanctifies us. He's the one who heals us of our sin. But of course, then he sends us out. The lonely are in our world. They're in our parish. They're in our city. They're in our families. People hunger. May we turn to them. May we lead them to Christ, who wants to draw all into communion. This Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, and here is Father Hanahan with the Mass and service schedule. So of course, this Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, uh, and so we start Lent. It's hard to believe, but here we are. Uh, just to let you know, Ash Wednesday is going to be a little different this year. Our schedule is different, and the way even the distribution of ashes will be different. Uh, we won't be touching everybody. So this is actually something that is done, has been done worldwide. The American church does it where we put it on our heads. But for most of the world, they actually sprinkle it on their heads. That's what we will be doing this year. So it's a prayer up here, and then we go around and sprinkle on your heads. We'll get a little on the carpet, but that's okay. Uh, it's a sign of our repentance and, of course, our dying to self. be even interesting because we'll be doing it in cars, which will be interesting as well this year. Our times for uh, this, this Ash Wednesday, 6.30 a.m., 8.30 a.m. School will have a private mass at 10 then there will be a parking lot at 4.30. Notice 4.30, not 5 o'clock. Uh, it's a little earlier for light. It also allows us to get back in for 6.30 back in the church. So those are your times. Also, the Knights of Columbus will have a shrimp boil on Friday starting next Friday. Uh, there, there is pickup from 4.30 to 6, but they're only accepting pre-orders. So if you, you can't just show up uh, like you used to in the past. And there's information in the bulletin, but you have to have your order in by Friday morning, 9 a.m. And then lastly, there are no confessions on Wednesday because of Ash Wednesday. And I should say second to last because adoration on Friday will go from noon to four, noon to four. Then we clean the church and then we will have stations at five. That's it for this week at St. Jude. Until next week, stay holy, St. Jude.